It's the grace of God that overcomes sin. We need to know who we are in Christ. That's what my problem was. Hallelujah. You need to know who you are in Christ. You are the righteousness of God. This is all by faith. It's by faith. So I'm watching a sermon by Dr. Favor, Jerry Savelle. He was speaking at Creflo Dollars Church on a Sunday. It just, duh, duh. I mean, he, I know this Bible pretty much inside and out. Do we have a Bible anywhere around here? I gotta use your Bible. So, I'll get to it in a minute. I, I'm so sorry. We, we just are completely out. We've been giving away Bibles so much lately. And we have no free Bibles for anybody. But, uh... <laughs> I've got here a clipboard. It says prayer requests on it. Anybody, you got prayer requests, write her on here. We lay hands on this, we believe, with you. That you shall have whatsoever things you desire. Mark 11, 24, it's true. All over the Bible. Ask and you shall receive. We've got to call those things which be not as though they were. So I, I don't have any Bibles for you. If, if you like a Bible, we'll drive one to you or mail one to you. You're right in the area here. Uh, both Mr. Long and I live in the area, so... It's no big deal. Um, I'm just reading through some of these right now, and it's you shall have whatsoever you ask. But here's the deal: uh, just write down your address on the back part of this uh, paper here, and we'll just go ahead and take care of that for you. Favor of God, the favor of God. Jerry Savelle, just wow. And you know the Bible inside and out. And I, I just remember a few years ago, here I am a Christian, and I'm I'm trying to figure this out. Why is all this stuff happening to me? Yeah, you can see the public records. Why? Uh, Proverbs eighteen twenty one, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that live by it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I'm going somewhere with this. Favor is absolutely joined with, just like everything else, what you say regarding the words that come out of your mouth. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Well, preacher, I, I, you know the whole tongue thing. I, I don't fully agree with that. My church doesn't doesn't so much go along with that. They just believe in the Bible and, and just 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 doing good and doing what the law says. You know, thou shall not, thou shall not, thou shall not. We are justified by faith. Let's go ahead and read what the Bible says. Do it. Do it. I became a Christian in May of 2000. Why? Because I did what the Bible says. Oops. That if thou shalt confess Jesus as Lord and believe in that heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9, 10, 10 says, With the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth Confession is made unto salvation. Confession is made unto salvation. You just you saw Greg over here. You know I'm going to get saved someday. That's the problem. When you as soon as you put God in someday, in the future. Yikes. We put him in the future. He has to stay in the future. The Bible says now is a day of salvation. Now is a day of deliverance. Now is a day of the time that you're accepting the fact that by his stripes you were healed. You do not need to receive 
that curse of cancer, that curse of debt, the curse of foreclosure upon which the bank is trying to steal your property. Whatever kind of fraudulent lawsuit it is, I work in the banking industry. The, all these things are in the Old Testament, the 28th chapter of uh, Deuteronomy. If you do not hearken diligently into the voice of the Lord your God, and you do all these bad things, these are the things that shall come upon you. You shall have inflammation, itching. I had that. I had poison ivy. I like to talk about that a lot now. Because I'm delivered from it. Right, I'm delivered from it. I, I finally realized, well, well, shut up, Jason. Stop talking about how you're itching. Don't talk about that. Just, just curse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the only way to heaven. All these things that are in the 28th chapter that are curses are not for us. Jesus Christ became a curse for us. Yeah, run to Christ. Run to Christ. He became a curse for us. A poverty. It's a curse. He became poor that we might become rich. We are the righteousness of God. We can actually say these things. I'm trying to figure out what, where is the favor? What, duh! I'm asking these questions. And I'm telling you, obviously through the video, anybody who's, who's walking around right now, you're going to the Indians game or just running through the city, you guys just hanging out right now, you know, just watch your tongue, watch your mouth. <laughs> Death and life are in the power of the tongue. You know, I'm going back to, well, when I first became a Christian, you know, I hung out with people who said, well, you, you know what, it's going to keep getting really bad here in America. It's going to be getting really bad here in America. Christians are being attacked. We're going to be martyred pretty soon, too. And I kind of went along with some of these things whereby I said, you watch. Because I preach the gospel so much on the streets of Cleveland, I'm going to get arrested one day. I am. They're going to get me. For what? There's not a crime to preach the gospel. This is a f this, 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 this all goes together, all right? Not yet, and never. And it will never be a crime to preach in the streets of Cleveland, anywhere in this country, in the name of Jesus Christ. So here I am, I'm preaching the gospel with Doug Law. We're in a uh, warehouse district. And, well, in 2008, Somebody got offended, made a false report to the police, and I got nailed. Nailed, right? So, I'm handcuffed. Now, the problem is, I said I'd, I'll be arrested. Even though you're handcuffed, you're not arrested. You look at the New Age Bibles, by the way. The New Age Bibles say Jesus was arrested. When it says arrested, it means you're brought to rest. No, Jesus was not arrested. He was delivered. I was never arrested. According to the statutes, I was arrested. I was put under the custody of the state of Ohio pursuant to the work that the police were doing. Pursuant to the words that came out of my mouth years ago. <laughs> and lo, the favor of God was with me. But here's a problem. And I'm, I'm here to, to confess to you yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I went into court and I argued this, that, and everything else. Yeah, it wasn't true, which is, it, it was false. These charges were made up against me. You know, Mr. Long and I, we work with prisoners throughout the country through letters, and of course, locally here we'll visit prisoners, and uh, <laughs> we tell people, you do not need to receive these charges. Jesus took upon himself the wages of sin is death. So okay, go ahead, go ahead, pay your pay your crime, pay your wages of sin. But the gift of God is eternal life. We have grace. We're under grace right now. And here I was in 2008, saying the charges were dropped against me because they were false. How many times, Mr. Long, do we see people in prison? who are falsely imprisoned. How many attorneys have told me, Jason, 
you were lucky to have those charges dropped. It doesn't happen too often. I, I understand that in our county we've got a lower conviction rate and all that stuff than the rest of the state of Ohio. One of the reasons, not all the reasons, but one of the reasons they had to get rid of Jason and get him out of jail is because he was saving too many people. He was he was bringing people to Christ in jail, and they were complaining about it. You're talking they about said, we got to get this guy out of here, man. I'm, I'm Otherwise, we'll save everybody. That's in 2010. You can hold on to that. Yeah, okay. That's in 2010. I'm, I'm going to get to that in a minute. Here. <laughs> praise God, man. Praise Him. It's it's when we can actually praise Him and lift up His name in the name of Jesus Christ that we have that favor. I couldn't believe that I was being criminally prosecuted by my own people for loving people, sharing the gospel of Jesus praise, Christ. Praise God. Do I get but an amen a, on that? Amen, amen. Here's the problem, though. we got to understand, we have the favor of God. Yeah, Jerry praise Savelle God. was saying, he gave great scripture, uh, Psalm uh, 512. Can you go ahead and grab your Bible and read Psalm 512, please, Mr. Oh, sure. Long, as, I, as I explain what happened. Why were these charges dropped against me? I had the favor of God on me. That's why. That's a bold statement to say charges were dropped against me to the favor of God. Well, the, the court's doing the right thing. They did do the right thing. Well, I don't know about that. They, did the, they got to really, really go all out with this thing. And funny thing, the, the main uh, police officer who put together this, this phony uh, charges against me and this, this case, you know, made up this case against me, he was later nailed by the federal government in a completely separate, unrelated matter. 512. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and... Uh, please, read five, man, uh, Psalm uh, 512. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor with thou compass him as with a shield. So in other words, what he's saying is, he's going to put a shield up. Keep stepping on this thing. He keep, he put, he's going to put a shield up in front of all the righteous. And bullets, cannons, Char rain, snow, sleet can't harm him. Criminal charges. Or her. Criminal and, cr charges. and criminal charges as well. Here's, here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is, this is it right here. Bam. The righteous. But J Jason, who are you to be Mr. Self-righteous to say you're, who are you to say you're, you're righteous? God's the only one who's righteous. He's the one who's, excuse me? What's the work that Jesus Christ did for us on the cross? 2 Corinthians 5.21 That we might be the, made the righteousness of God? We're righteous because of the work that Jesus Christ did for us on, on on the cross. Look, the Father sees us, Christians, as long as we walk by faith and, and accept the fact that we are justified by faith. You saw Greg right here saying, I am the righteousness of God. That's, that's a bold statement to make, but we can say that because of the work that Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. It, this is just more than just... Free. 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 There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk, you know, not after the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Romans 8.1. Uh, when you look at Psalms uh, 5, chapter 4. Let's check, let's check four four. Yeah, chapter, chapter 5, verse 4. For thou art not a, not a God that hath pleasure in weaknesses, wickedness, wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. That's powerful. He's not a God of wickedness. And that's the whole point here. Not a God of wickedness. Today, here we are. We are, people, we are under the grace of God right now. Right. Some, pe some people think that, you know, Jason and I have a, a prison ministry, and some people think that the prisoners should be punished. Oh, they're in there. They're, they're getting punished. You know, that's... Do the crime, do the time. Right, right here it says... <laughs> he does not take pleasure in wickedness. That's the devil. The devil right. wants to take pleasure in wickedness. Right. The, yeah. The devil wants to wants to, to entice you to do a wrong thing and then you get caught, you get thrown in prison. Wickedness. But that's the devil. That's not the Lord. If the anybody Lord thinks that they are... Want, 
does not give anybody or do any wickedness to anybody. If, if anybody, do it yourself. If anybody thinks that they're righteous because of how they're living, I'm doing the law so good. I can get through this by myself. I'm all right. I'm good. You know what? That's wicked. This favor that God has on the righteous, right here, you know, righteousness of God. Wow, it's it's an actual favor. Now we're under grace today. Grace is unmerited favor. You don't deserve this. That's where we are. We need to accept the fact that yeah, we we are here, and you need to declare this. We must decree that we have favor with God. We have favor with God. I'm going to give you some examples. 2008, case was dropped. Mr. Long talked about 2010, whereby I was actually in a jail, right here in a county jail. Right, right. You know, I anybody, if you, you know, just the Lord's giving me a word of knowledge right now. I got some pain in my shoulder, and um, 